What is going on everybody? Today I have a quick tech tip for you and we're gonna show you how to add a user account to your MacBook Pro. Now, of course, these instructions will work with anything that is running the Mac OS operating system. So with that being said, let's roll the intro. Now, in order for this to work, you will need one of two things. You need to be either A, logged into the computer as an admin account. So if you're a user on the account, make sure that you're logged in with administrator permissions. The other option is if you don't have that, you will need the admin's credentials. The first step that we're gonna do is we're gonna get into the system preferences. One of two ways, you can come up to your Apple menu, left click on it, and then left click on system preferences. Or if you have it in your dock, you can bring up your dock and select system preferences here. Once you've got that open, you're gonna want to locate and find where it says users and groups and left click on that. Now you'll notice over here on the left hand side, things are grayed out and that is because we're gonna need to type in the admin credentials in order for those to unlock. So what you're gonna do now, come on down bottom left hand corner, you're gonna select the little padlock and it's gonna prompt you to type in the admin password. So if you're an administrator, you're just gonna need to type in the password. If you are on a standard account, it's gonna ask you for a username and password for somebody that has those admin permissions. So I'm an admin, so of course I'm just gonna type in my password and then I'm gonna tap on unlock. Once that is in there, as you can see, it shook back and forth indicating that I had the incorrect password typed in. So if that happens to you, you will want to modify that and try again to make sure that you've got the correct ones in there. So I'm gonna try that again. Perfect. So the third time I got the correct password in there and then you'll notice everything on the left hand side here kind of highlighted indicating that we can make the change. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and click on the little plus sign down in the bottom left corner, just above the padlock. So we're gonna left click on that. And it's gonna bring up a new account box process where we're gonna type in all of the credentials that we want for this new account. Again, this new account can be an administrator, it can be standard, and it can be a sharing only. Admin, of course, can go in, install programs, make system preferences, and make actual changes to the computer. Standard is locked down to where it cannot make system preference changes or anything like that and it cannot install programs. And then sharing only will only give access to the folders that an administrator has assigned to that user. So again, pick one that is applicable. We'll just do standard for today's demo. And then you're gonna wanna type in a full name for this account. We'll just do demo test. Click on account name, it's automatically gonna fill it in. That is gonna be the name of the home folder. As you can see, this will be used as the name for your home folder. Now, as far as a password, it is of course required. You will want to type one in. So in this case, I'm just gonna do a, just a quick password. Those are in there. Of course, a password hint is not required, but it is recommended. So we'll just do, and then once you've got all of the credentials in there, you can left click on create user. What that's going to do is you'll now see that user pop up right here. You can have them reset your password. You can allow a user to administer this computer. So another thing that you can do is if you don't want to add a full user, but you just want to give somebody the ability to have access, you can use the guest user. Allow guests to log on to this computer. You can enable the guest account, but whenever somebody logs in and then logs out, all of the information and files in the guest account home folder are deleted. So if you just need something really quick and really simple, but you don't want to have to go in and clean up after them, I would highly recommend using the guest user because it will delete those files after they have logged out of the computer. Now say that you wanna go back in and you wanna delete that user because they no longer need access to the computer. Just do the same steps in kind of a reverse order. So what we're gonna do is gonna go up to the Apple menu, bring up your system preferences, go back into users and groups. You will need to unlock it again, so I'll unlock it one more time. That's the wrong password. Everything highlights again, and then you're gonna highlight the user that you wanna delete and then select the minus sign right here delete the selected user account. This box is gonna pop up. To delete the user account, select what you want to do with the home folder for this account. I'm just gonna select delete the home folder, but you will want to choose what's applicable to you and then select on delete user. And that's all there is to it when it comes to adding a user on a MacBook Pro. And that is gonna be a wrap on today's tech tip. I hope you guys liked it and you got something out of it. If you did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and share the video to anybody that you think would benefit from it. It certainly helps out the channel and is much appreciated. Subscribe if you're not already and be sure to enable that bell icon so you guys don't miss out on any future upcoming tips or videos. And we will see you on the next one. Peace.